Hey guys, welcome to Gearbox Let's Test and to the second series on Cypress. Now, in this series, we are going to identify tools and techniques through which we are going to extend the Cypress functionality further. But I strongly recommend if you are new to this channel and have not watched my first series on Cypress, please go and check that out. So open my YouTube channel, okay, go to the playlist and in here you would find this Cypress series. Guys, whatever code that I'm going to write, I'm going to export it to this GitHub repository. Okay. Now, I have received some great feedback from my Cypress Series 1. And I'm going to collect all of that and try to make videos around that. All right. So, what are we going to learn from this video? Well, guys, Cypress does not fail our test cases on console.error statements. Okay. And to understand this better, we have to understand console. But console is an object which is available on Windows object. Now, Windows object is the browser's global object. So we have to open the browser console. And in here, we have to say window. Okay. Then we have to say dot and we have to find console. When you do so, it is going to return you this object. So console is also an object. Hit enter. Expand this console object and in here you would find this error method. Okay, now we want if there is any console.error statement being thrown in the console, we have to fail our test case. And likewise, guys, we have info, we have log, we have warn. Okay, now when developers are doing the debugging, okay, they use this console.log statement quite a lot. And they log stuff to the console. Now, as far as that is into development and they are doing the debugging, that's fine. But when we move our code into production, we have to make sure that we do not print anything on to the console. Now, if our application logs anything to this console, we would like to fail our test case. Okay, that's what we want to do. Now Let's move on to the coding part. Let's understand this page, guys. So currently, you see sample.test being mentioned in the script section of this very basic HTML page. Okay. Now, this object does not exist. And hence, we are going to see the reference error. Okay. So if you run your test case in the test runner, you would see sample is not defined. And if you want to get rid of this error, okay, just use this event. All right. So we go ahead in the index.js. We have already seen this in the previous series. So I uncomment this. I save it. Okay. So I'm saying in such event, just return false means don't fail my test case. All right. If we go back now, all right. So you see. Now our test case has been passed. All right, that's great. Now let's make a change to our HTML page. So I'm going to comment this out and uncomment this console.error statement. Okay, so this is saved now. Let me also come in here and reload my page. And by the way, guys, I have set up this page on my IS server okay where would you find this page so you just have to open this github repository and under this other folder you would find this console HTML page okay in here we are seeing this is an error message okay in the console now let's see how Cypress would react Okay, so you see there is no problem. Okay, so this thing okay works fine in case of errors like this. But I want to fail my test case when this happens. Right? How can I do that? So guys, for that we have to use one of the Cypress event 
called as window before load. What does it do? Now guys, this event is fired as soon as the page begins to load, but before any of your applications JavaScript has executed. Okay, now what do we want to do with this? See, this returns us what? Windows object. And on Windows object, we have the console object. And in the console object, we have got the error method. Okay. So I, in my JavaScript Mocha Simon Chai themes of playlist, I'll show you that. So in here, I have already covered Chai, Simon, and Simon Chai. I have talked about spy, stub, mock. Okay, so we are going to use the same concept in here now. So we open our index.js guys and we have to paste in this code. So we say when this event is being fired, okay, it returns us this Windows object and we stub. So this is my object, and on this object, I am stubbing error. Okay. And when this happened, I just throws the error. Okay. So this error will fail my test cases. Okay. Now see why dot now allows us to ensure that the error gets logged out to the terminal. Alright. And I have to uncomment this. Okay, it's very important. We have to use this very wisely. If you use this, your test cases won't fail. So I just comment this out. And now if we run our test cases, all right, so you see our test case has been failed. And we also see the reason. So this is the message that I have thrown from my HTML page. If you could see console.error, this is an error message. All right, guys. So what are the things that we have done? We have added this event, okay, and we have thrown this error. But guys, we have also turned this off, okay, to make our test case fail in such events. Likewise, we can do the same for other methods as well, okay. Now, this time I do it for warning so for warning we have the method warn right so same way we just make these changes all right like so and if i just comment this now okay and save it go back to my page all right comment this uncomment the warning part save everything okay so this has been failed and now we see this is a warning Right, guys so same way you can do it for info and log all right now guys there is a plugin which can do all this for you but that means you have to add one more dependency to your project if that is fine to you I'll present you one more thing so we go to Cypress plugins and just search for fail and you see this Cypress dash fail on console error just open this and guys, its usage is also very simple. You first have to install this. I've already done so. And after that, in the index.js only, you have to add these two lines. Go back to the documentation, scroll down. So guys, we can pass in some options in this method, right? Exclude message meaning exclude console messages from throwing assertion error, right? So you can control that. You also have this include console types, guys, okay? Now in here, you can mention what all things you want to control, okay? So what all different types of method available on the console object that you want to control, okay? So in here, you see include console types for observation. So what do we have to do? We have to bring in this object, and then you also need to copy this and just pass this config object. Now it is going to track your error, your warning, and info. All right, so let me save this and check the test runner. Okay, so we see 
warning all right so our test case has been failed okay and they are saying expected warn to have been called exactly zero times but it was called once now, all right so this is our package it's open. and in the dependencies you see they are using chai sinan and sinan chai and i've already covered all three of these in my playlist on javascript mocha framework all right so in short we would like to keep the console clean okay and there are two ways either you can do it manually all right by using this event all right and you have to stub things on your own all right and if we see anything into the console we are going to throw an error all right with the message what is that message in the console guys this is the message and this is what we have seen okay so that's approach number one now the second approach is this plugin and this plugin takes into consideration these three types but we also have the fourth one console.log which developers use quite a lot in debugging right and in the production at times we see this console.log statement so if you want to consider that as well right guys then you have to write your own code like this okay and it's very simple instead of error okay in here and here you have to mention log log that's it all right so i hope you like this thank you so much